Dimani Cade, and I am a singer-songwriter. It's absolutely uh, gone from, you know, the slower old style I used to do to a lot more poppy, uh, poppy singer-songwriter kind of vibe. It's still with the slow songs, always. You know, those songs are the ones that kind of have a more deep impact when happier songs are kind of like, yeah, like, you know, like you're really into it. Um, but I, I definitely am sticking with slow songs while also branching out and trying new things. I, I, want to hear, I want people to hear the messages I have to say in every song. Even, even sometimes I write songs that I don't necessarily feel, but those aren't the songs that kind of get you know, released and I play more. Those are the kind of songs that are just practice. So every song that I put out, I want there to be something that someone who's feeling a certain way, you know, whether it be happy or sad, they can take from it. Not that bad. In 10 years, I will be at least living either a van, which would be awesome, just traveling America, or I'd be living in an apartment. Either way, I'll be making all my living off of music, whether it be sales, gigs, busking, anything. Definitely my friend Alex. He's constantly, you know, making me graphics for things. Um, he's the one who films like my basement sessions. Every time I produce, he usually asks to to come over and help me out. And I'll I'll do something. I'm like, how's this sound? He'll be like, it's garbage. Or I'll do something, and he'll be like, like he'll be like he'll get into it, and we'll both just be like really excited. Probably not at this point, um, because I remember I tried in high school uh, when I was first starting out to get a little band together, but I didn't have any friends and no one else really wanted to do it with me. So I, I, I started using a, a loop pedal and I kind of do everything myself now and it's a lot more fun. So I do have uh, the Maker Fair uh, in April. I will be playing there. I do open mic nights at the Starlight Room a lot and I'm going to be going to Round and Third. Uh, you can find it on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play. I'll be able to put it out you know, everywhere. It'll be great. So what's upcoming is Mixed Emotions, which is an uh, EP album sort of thing I've been working on for a, a while, writing songs for. I finally got a nice group of songs that I would like to put on there, so next is just producing, and then once I get that out, I'll start gigging more with it. Be sure to subscribe to Myography for a bunch more local artist interviews.